Luke, let's start with it, shall we? I mean, three games in the space of seven days. Just give us an idea of how, how tough that is from, from your point of view to navigate that. It is tough, yeah, because it, I think if you try to prepare thoroughly and then you also try to make sure that you, you, you know where you are after the game as well, um, there's a lot of work to be done. And then, of course, we have um, players on different schedules now because... Um, yeah, which is you know is normal, um, but the the game being brought a day earlier is a is a different challenge for us, and and um, that's all fine. We we have to make sure that we try and you know get our heads together as a staff and and work out the best way to to approach it um, because it's a it's an opportunity. It's not it's not a threat for us. You know it's a something a bit different and I, I don't think there's any reason for us to to get so uptight about it but yes difficult you know managing the time and spinning it all around and making sure that you you, you do it thoroughly that's that's a challenge but the people here are up for the challenge and, and so we try to to give it our, our best shot I guess you had to sort of manage minutes for players didn't you during the uh, the Wolves game of bringing bring a number off of those who played at the weekend. Was that partly as well due to the fact that last weekend's game at MK Dons was played in, in such heat? Yes, exactly. Um, probably wouldn't have, have made the number of changes and also made the changes, all uh, four changes at half-time together, um, had there not been evidence that the game had really taken a lot out of the, the bodies um, because it was incredibly hot incredibly hot and um, the game was of a very high quality and so yeah there was we, we had to really make sure that we you know we, we took precautions there and it was it was a shame because um, we we lost the game and um, I think we could have given a better we could have given a, a better performance uh, if we weren't probably trying so hard to protect people and of course um, Jody being away is, is a difficult for us as well on international duty because we don't get a break in the international as you know um, but again it, these, these are all things that um, you have to try to work around and find the best solution that you possibly can and um, I'm happy that everyone came through the game and I'm happy that when they were on the pitch I think for the most part everybody was present and you know they played with a good intensity and concentrate for the most part some difficult to accept moments but yes we had to take extra but extra precautions really because the the game was not a normal game at mk dons it was unique really in in, in terms of how hot it was you say that people shouldn't get uptight about the bringing forward of this this sold for game 24 hours but not did appeal against it uh, in the first place when they first said they were going to bring it forward to a Friday night and I suppose that's because it's it's needless isn't it you know games sometimes move for television and there's money and so on this is just an experiment on their part and it's it seems like it's a largely un, unhelpful experiment from your point of view for the two reasons that the club gave at the time that both the players preparation but also the fans yeah to um, you know traveling as well traveling on a Friday I think is different to traveling on a Saturday, um, so it's not like perfect for us, but you know um, they wanted to try something um, different, and and so we we've now become part of the experiment. And okay, that's that's what it is. Let's let's now um, try to make the the best possible plan that we can, and. Uh, Go there and make a really good performance, and, and then it and then it become a good experiment for us as well afterwards if we do that. So that's that's the only way really we can, we can look at it. Um, the league have made a call on it, and it, that's so I agree with with whatever the league say is happening is happening. We are all part of it. We are we're in the EFL now. We have to you know sign up. So yeah, okay. It's not. I, I would I appealed because I would prefer just Saturday a bit more time to recover easier travel and so on but it wasn't 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 agreeable so here we go yeah that has traditionally been a few clubs 
you played Friday night games. I remember going to Tranmere and South End and uh, Scunthorpe have always had different kickoff times because of the factory workers nearby. There's always been those those little quirks. But generally speaking, are, are you kind of more for a, a Saturday three o'clock? Uh, apart, apart from anything, because fans often get forgotten on these things, don't we? We often see lunchtime kickoffs for supporters having to travel one end of the country to the other. It's it's tough for fans, and on a Friday night. If they finish work at five o'clock on a Friday, they can't they can't travel two and a half hours of, of the M6 to get to a game. Yeah, I agree, uh, and I think that that's uh, um, maybe uh, maybe it benefits the opposition's fans. Maybe so, from their point of view, maybe is better because they maybe attract more fans on a Friday than they might on a Saturday because there's a lot of competition around. I mean. We have a pretty big club across the river, so we know competition when they're close by. And um, so it's like it, on the balance, one somebody normally suffers more than the other. It's unusual to get like the perfect deal where everybody agrees and everybody has an equal share. That's That would be nice, but the real world is quite different. So yeah, there's things there that are, you know, contentious for us, but we're certainly not going to dwell on it. And, um, you know, I appreciate you bringing it up and that's given me an, given me an opportunity to to express I'm, I'm like sorry for our fans because I'm taking a selfish view. I'm sorry for me because I don't get as much prep time. So that, again, is selfish. But then probably at the other side of the argument, everyone is really happy. So we are probably on the different end of the, the scale. Um, how are you fitness wise? But Jody Jones away on international duty, of course, last week. Dave McGoldrick, I think, got a knock before last week's game. Um, what are your thoughts regarding those two being being available for you this weekend? We feel positive about David um, because he, he's been training. Uh, Jody, we need to get our eyes on him when he returns um, tomorrow morning to uh, make sure he he got kicked, and we don't know the extent at the moment. Um, Jody has given some feedback, but until the medical staff actually can contest his uh, potential injury, then we won't we won't know. So we sort of I'm anxiously anticipating a report tomorrow morning on Jody, but we're really happy to to have him back. So um, we're in a pretty good place, I think. And you know, some players, uh, well, eight players in particular, that play 45 minutes, and and that probably help them to recover more quickly. Just finally, what Friday night does at least do is it gives you a chance to get top of the table before everyone else plays on Saturday, <laughs> isn't it? Well, that would, be, that would be really nice. I would love that. And, and that's, that's the, the mentality that we have. We already spoke about that, so thank you. We spoke about that in the morning, like, you know, can we find some posit positive uh, messages there? And uh, that, would, that would be great, wouldn't it? That would make the, the journey back very, very nice.